if uh, you are in your 40s and 50s and you're waking up every morning feeling tired and you're getting a mouthful from your wife for not allowing her to sleep because we're busy snoring all night long then guys you must be suffering from obstructive sleep apnea Hi, I'm Dr. Praveen Basu, consultant urologist and a mental health expert and I'm going to talk today about a disease which many of us are not acquainted of but is found to be affecting one in three of obese male population. It is called obstructive sleep apnea or in short OSA. Let's begin with humans have five types of sleep throughout their sleeping period and the fifth level is known as the deep level of sleep or the rapid eye movement stage of the sleep. Patients of OSA don't reach this deep level of sleep because at that time their soft tissues of the upper airway they collapse, they prevent the air to get into the lungs momentarily. This momentary decrease in oxygen into the lungs will irritate the brain and these people just wake up suddenly with a choking sensation clears his throat and then goes to sleep again this cycle continues till he gets up in the morning feeling oh my god I haven't slept enough now what are the risk factors in fact the typical patient are elderly males who are obese especially ones with the bull neck what are the signs and the symptoms patients have extreme form of lethargy throughout the day they have headache in the morning they have dry mouth and also they have a feeling of uh, not doing anything cannot concentrate cannot do their work not loving their work to do and at night they snore loudly and often get up with a choking sensation suddenly now friends this is very important because if we don't diagnose this disease treat them at a very early stage this has been found to be associated with many health concerns like hypertension heart failure stroke then we have diabetes mellitus then we have gastroesophageal reflux disease there's a lot of symptoms of psychiatric disorders like depression anxiety memory loss and not and also the very important sexual dysfunction now if we can uh, diagnosis disease at a very early stage then simple lifestyle modification like regular physical exercise in the morning avoiding smoking avoiding alcohol and heavy dinner just before going to sleep avoiding sleeping pills to camouflage the effects and sleeping on one side can be very helpful moderately symptomatic patients they do very well with a home CPAP therapy only very few patients of severe symptoms require surgery so if you are in having any of the symptoms any in the risk category then you must consult your doctor immediately and have a sleep study at home done because as I said over and over again this disease is not very common to what we feel but we must be made aware that this can cause a loss of productivity and often causes mortality in the long term hope my video has helped you and uh, please subscribe to my channel and also send you a comment I will be coming up with more such videos in the future so stay fit stay healthy bye bye